Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another, to another episode of the John Graves Show. And today, uh, today I'm talking to everybody about um, the seven deadly sins. And really, there are a few questions that did pop up in this episode. Which, which were the main one? Is why don't why haven't why haven't Meliodas and Bond you you use use any weapons up until this this point? I know that they're strong enough to pretty much like just just up and destroy normal normal weapons. But that will kind of make you think. Is that like? If they had been really, you know, been kind of having like some struggles to pretty much like keep up with with most of the other holy knights who do have weapons or better yet, sacred sacred weapons who do draw out their power, which really doesn't really seem like all that much, you know, or at least much compared to when they hold a weapon, not not even a holy weapon, a normal weapon. I mean, like really thinking about it like that, it's like why haven't why haven't those two used weapons now pretty much the only reason that they've kind of given in this episode is the fact that they just don't want to kill kill anybody but killing and fending off are two different things especially since that all the holy knights now they carry demon blood so really they can take the punishment or at least it seems as though as that they can however going on in uh into that this this episode it does necessarily kind of play more into who Gather is one he does not understand or at least he understands emotions however he doesn't necessarily seem to be all that or at least like he wants to have a way more logical output to everything and he's not all that he's not all that expressive he's kind of just way more stone stone face but it's still actually rather cool cool to kind of see his character be all stone face and and um uh, robotic and all that other stuff but then it cuts from that to him talking about like what was it um the reasons why he gave this holy knight which was turned into a demon which is dale the father of gilia and and zeal he gave him his armor to pretty much contain all the evil energy and pretty much kind of help him live and it turned into a thing of you know doing this for 10 years see a guy broken and that's what led the other the other dude dudes over there i forget their title but they went after him to go ahead and you know kind of get the head of the armor he gives it he gives it to him stating that that's the most peaceful solution because if they all go all out they will pretty much murder murder and uh, and um destroy everything in the area because that's just how powerful they are or at least with or at least with four sins now this is with his calculations of him not throwing in Deanne and uh and her now regaining her weapon and all of her strength as well so there's also that but honestly, really thinking about it, this is one of those episodes when it's like, who we we are we are just gonna tell you who a guy there is. We want you to see who to, you, um uh, we're gonna show you through his actions and pretty much everything that kind of went on there. And really, you did get a good feeling for for um uh, who God there is and pretty much what most of his priorities are. Most of his his um priorities are just uh, are just to walk alone and read books. But hey. Still very interesting. So that is what I've got to say about that. What do you guys think about it? Please tell me tell me in the comment section. Catch you on the next John Grave Show. Please keep watching anime. Keep playing video games. I'm out.